With an online MBA from Purdue University, you get one-on-one -on -one support from a dedicated student success coach and world-class Purdue faculty. We're with you from your first small step to your next giant leap and beyond. Learn more. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Poets and Quants' Must Reads, a quick digestible recap of the top business school news sponsored by Purdue University's online MBA program. I'm your host, Christy Bleizeffer, and I'll be highlighting the most important P&Q stories you might have missed. So let's get to it. Number one, more B schools make overtures to laid off tech workers. Last week, Northwestern Kellogg announced plans to court thousands of tech workers by waiving their test requirements to any laid off techie. Other schools are filing suit. MIT Sloan School of Management plans to extend its round two deadline for recently laid off employees from January 18th to February 23rd, 2023. Meanwhile, Indiana University Kelly School of Business is offering laid off tech employees GMAT GRE test waivers, as well as application fee waivers, and touting an array of scholarships that are available for admitted applicants. You can read more about the latest wave of layoffs and business school response on our homepage. Number two, acceptance rates at the top OMBA programs of 2023. These days, online MBAs actually account for more students in the U.S. than the traditional residential programs, and there's no shortage of schools to choose from. If you're considering an online MBA or looking for programs, be sure to check out our 2023 ranking of the best programs in the US. This week, we also have several deeper dives into the data the ranking collected. That includes the admission rates for all programs we ranked. The hardest online program to get into? The Jack Welch Management Institute. Find all the admission data in our news tab, as well as stories on diversity, tuition, cost, and more. Number three. IIM Abinabad may phase out its two-year MBA. The Indian Institute of Management at Abinabad expects its two-year MBA program to be phased out over the next 10 years. Long one of India's leading MBA options, IIM has been losing ground more recently in global rankings, but is still the highest ranked MBA program in India. It echoes a continuing trend in the U.S. in which some second-tier schools have shuttered their two-year programs as others have started adding one-year options or even hybrid programs. The school publicly said that it thinks the two-year MBA will slowly phase out of the Indian market. Given the rapid pace of change, spending two years in an educational institute learning management seems a little like a little waste of time, one school official said. You can read more now in our trending tab. Number four, our weekly roundup of news you can use. No matter where you are in your MBA journey, we bring several helpful stories to you this week. First up, don't miss our second annual $50,000 pitch competition with Washington University's Olin Business School. The Big Idea Bounce is a pitch contest open to all current business students. Submit your idea in an easy to complete online form by January 15th, 2023. Get full entry details and more on that $50,000 prize in our news tab. Next, for those still looking for the right programs, we have the latest employment report from Wharton's class of 2022. The highlights, the most tech hires ever for the school, plus an impressive 12.9% jump in base salary. You can also peruse job reports for other top schools like MIT Sloan, Duke, and Chicago Booth in our news tab. Finally, so you're applying for an MBA? Do you know what your digital profile says about you? If you're unsure, take a minute to check out this helpful story, how to optimize LinkedIn when a right applying for the MBA. You'll find it and other helpful stories in our admissions tab. And that's it for this week's Must Reads Recap. I also want to alert all the school seekers out there to Center Court's upcoming MBA festival, where you'll get front row seats to leaders of some of the top MBA programs. Our next event is February 7th to 8th, and it is a must attend event for any serious MBA candidate. Register now for free. Again, I'm Christy Bleizeffer, and you can join me next week right here for a recap of what's important in the world of business education. 
Thanks for listening. And as always, stay informed.